Okay, now we will jump to the next type of association and now we are going to learn the has one through association. So uh, the has one uh, through association sets up a connection between two models and uh, this one to one connection between two models is done via a, a third model. So it's like the, um, the previous association that we saw in the previous video, which was the uh, has many through association. The has many, th has many through association uh, sets up a connection of, uh, of type many to many through a third model. The has one uh, through um, association sets up a one to one connection between two models through a third model. So um, let's take this example here. Uh, we have those three models game peak and teams so um, a game a, a peak belongs to a game so a game has one peak and this peak uh, has one team so this team belongs to this peak so a game can have a team through the peak models so uh, as you can see here there is a um, uh, foreign key migrations from the uh, the primary key of the game model will migrate and became a uh, foreign key inside the uh, peak model and uh, the primary key of uh, the peak uh, model will migrate uh, toward the uh, team model and we will have a foreign key uh, peak ID inside the team model so um, this is a brief explanation of the has one through association and we will make um, a little demonstration uh, of this type of association. So uh, I will create those three models. So I have my project here, active record association project. So um, I, will I will create three models. So Rails G model game. So game name of type string. So raise G model game game name of type string. So this is my first model. Okay now rail G model peak. So uh, peak price uh, to be of type float. So raise G model peak peak price of type float, and the last model will be uh, rail G model. Uh, it will be a uh, team. So G model team and the team uh, name of type string. Let me update my database. So it will be my great. Okay. So now let me check my models folder here. I have my three models. So now I'm going to set up my uh, the connection between my models. Okay. So let me start with this with the game model so the game model has one uh, peak so has one peak through sorry so um so uh, the game model has one peak and he has one um Team through peak. So the game model has one peak and has one team through the peak model. And then we will jump to the peak model and set up the connection here. So a peak belongs to the game then he has one 
team okay now we will jump to the last model which is the team model so a team belongs to one peak so this uh, connection here between those models represent this diagram here between those classes so now um, I'm going to uh, create those uh, foreign key inside my peak model and inside my team model so um, I'm going to create two migration rails G migration so add um, game ref to peaks so rail g migration add game ref to peaks game references this is my first migration and then i'm going to create a new a uh, second migration so add um, peak ref to teams And this is how it should be. So the migration here and okay. So raise G migration at peak ref to teams. Okay. Okay, let me first before running the migration and updating my database tables, I wanna check my uh, the migration files. To make sure that I didn't make any mistake so let me close these files so this is a big game for a key and teams okay everything is correct so now I'm going to update my database okay so uh, the foreign key were, were added inside my database tables so now uh, I'm going to open my like always I'm going to open my rails console and we will test together the association between my models so um, rails C okay first of all I'm going to create a game object so game dot new okay game one that game name I'm gonna call it from let's take a random name so I'm gonna give Pokemon crystal so game one the game name Pokemon crystal so I'm going to save this then I'm going to create uh, a, a peak object so peak one peak dot new peak one dot uh, peak price so it will be for example three thousand five hundred so okay so peak one dot save what is ah roll back transaction because I didn't set the game ID so um peak one dot game id and um, it will be one here because inside our data our database there is only one record which has an id of one so uh, i am forced to um, put the game id here as one so um, i'm going to save this object to my database now so um, peak one dot save and finally I'm going to create a team object team one team that new team one dot team name I'm gonna call it blue team and then uh, I will set the primary key uh, the um, foreign key value so peak ID so uh, like the 
previous uh, foreign foreign key uh, of the um, peak of the uh, game ID inside the peak uh, object we have only one uh, peak uh, object inside our database so it will be one so one and then I will save this object to my database okay now inside inside, uh, inside each inside uh, each table inside of uh, our database we have uh, one record uh, linked together by uh, the foreign keys so now uh, I'm going to test this connection so now inside uh, our diagram here a game can have a peak and and directly it can have a team via this peak so let me check which which peak belongs to this game and which team belong to this game so to do that I'm going to this is my uh, sorry um, my game my game one so it is Pokemon Crystal so uh, game one dot peak and as you can see here it returns the object of the peak ID one it and it has a value of 3500 so now I will check the team uh, which belongs to this game so game one dot um, the team so as you can see it returns the name the this record which is the blue team so now let me jump to the uh, second uh, model which is peak so i have this object peak one which has a price of three thousand and five hundred so uh peak one dot game it must return the the name of the game so which is pokemon crystal and peak one dot uh team it returns the uh the name of the team that belongs to that to that peak and uh, finally the, that we have team one which is the blue team so team one that uh, peak so it returns uh, the, the peak to which this uh, team belong which is the the, the peak with the, the value of pri with price of three thousand and five hundred so um, this is all about the has one uh, through association. Uh, I hope that you have learned something from a uh, tutorial and uh, see you in the next uh, video. Bye bye.